Hi, I'm Dina Von Yokes, and I am here to share with you on my channel three inspirations in my life is fashion, travel, and business. I like everyone out there to answer this question, which is, what inspires you? Do you want a new car, a new house? It doesn't have to be things. Do you want this specific experience that you've always wanted your whole life? Being able to travel keeps me inspired. Clothing keeps me inspired, like to go to a fashion show or to see what's next. I've worked a lot of my life away without joy, and without feeling like you've got this inspiration that keeps you excited about stuff, then it just goes into, you know, just existing. So I continually try to get myself out of my bubble, which can be my business or my family, and get into the world because then the isolation sometimes lacks inspiration. Inspiration is more out here than it is always here. And so to me, that's what makes me happier about my business and my family is to be able to go do that and then come back and I'm more excited about life. And I think that's truly where it comes back to how do you stay balanced? You believe you have to do certain things and make a little bit of time yourself to stay inspired. So what I like to do to stay inspired is to take care of my health and make sure I work out two, three times a week. I can't go over the top due to the fact that I do run a business and I have other priorities. So I have to make sure to keep a balance between the other priorities and my health. Well, how I do that is no matter what, it's at the top of my list. It's on my calendar. It's a non-negotiable. No matter what happens to the rest of the world and the people in it, I work out three times a week and it's in the morning before my day gets started so that nothing interrupts it. And I created a space in my house where I have the ropes and the weights and the rower. And as I go along, I just keep adding to it so I don't have to drive anywhere and park and I don't have to get out of my car and go into sign up for something and then come back to my car. By that time, my workout's over and I could have written a blog. Time management, I know for every woman out there and possibly transitioning, possibly having a very high powered career or just managing home life and work life, all of that ends up being something that's really hard to juggle. So when I look at that, I get overwhelmed. So what I do is I start breaking it down and taking bite sizes and also prioritizing. So I get real focused and hyper focused on what my yeses are and those are first. Then I know what to say no to. I make sure to get up and write five things down that I'm going to get accomplished that day. If I don't do it in the morning, I for sure do it at night before I go to bed. That also puts my mind at ease where I don't have to think about it and I know what my intentions are for the next day. So that helps me, the five things, and that makes me walk into my day and into my business and around the people that I need to be a leader for. And I know what I need to delegate in order to forward my business or forward my family or forward my personal life. So it's important to have intention and start your day with that intention instead of just walking into the day. And then as the day unfolds, it's like whatever happens, happens. And when that goes on, not a lot gets accomplished by the end of the day. So I have the strategy of five things a day, no matter what, before the day ends, I get it done. So I feel like that is a huge, huge part of my success. Inspiration, seeking it, and also starting off each day with intention, and then also having a goal. Because once you have that goal, you have to take the steps to get there, and it keeps you excited about what you're doing right now, because you know what you're doing right now is going to lead to what it is that you really want to ultimately do. And that's how we get places in this world. We don't just wake up one day, and we're just fabulously successful. In our our world right now, it's like things seem so instant and so instantly given and gratification and I want it now. But 
what's happening is people are falling empty handed because of the fact that they don't recognize they didn't do all this stuff over there to get here. Set some goals and know what makes you happy and figure out what can inspire you. And if you don't answer any of those questions, then it ends up being more along the lines of a lackluster career or a lackluster life. So if this is something that speaks to you, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and follow my journey. We're going to have a lot of fun with business tips and career and family and travel and fashion. I'm a fashion freak. So I love to share that kind of information. So I'm just going to do more of that and I'm going to share it with you. So please subscribe to my YouTube channel and join the fashion, business and travel fun.